said she's terrified of cacti, but loves the taste of their flesh. Whoa. She's quality Tam. Uh, Is this thing on? Is this really happening? Wow. This is real. This is legit. I am on my very own show. Hello, everyone. Quality Tam here with my special guest today. Dexy? Tam, you're doing great. (laughs) I'm so nervous for Tam right now. She's making it so awkward and uncomfortable. I want to hide in the corner right now. Here's the thing. I'm not making it awkward and uncomfortable. I simply just, I just was scared because I'm like, okay, this is real time. We're going to actually be doing this. This is actually (laughs) happening. And I've got to like have all this stuff ready. And oh my gosh, you guys, you should have seen. We're on Facebook Live right now. Mm -hmm. So you could actually see my nervousness and, and, and I was just totally scared. Oh my gosh. You should have seen her. But she was (laughs) like seconds before we were going live. She was going, okay, so I'm going to hit this way. Well, I don't know. (laughs) Wait a second. And then the and then the entry your intro started and you acted like you, that wasn't <laughs> supposed to happen. <laughs> you were freaking out. You're doing great though. You're doing okay. great. The reason why I'm just want to throw it out there that the reason why I was playing that music mm-hmm. because it was the suspense. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It's like is this a song yes. being played for us to just hear or is this truly just a song like that's going to intro quality tam? Mm. Do you know what I mean? You're doing great. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mhm. Yeah. But we're here. We're here. We're here. The texting line is is doing great. Hi, guys. I want to say hi to every single one of you. Thank you so much for texting in. Uh, there were some of you guys who had texted in, and um, and you said, hey, and you told me that you were praying for me. And I just want to say that I really, 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 really appreciate that. Mm. Like, so there's so many nice people in the world. They're really sweet. And you guys were texting in earlier today. Um, I was kind of teasing the show earlier today. Did you hear anything? No, the first hour, you were... Brilliant. You don't need me. No, I do need you. I was you. sitting there in the bathroom listening to you going, what? She That's... sounds awesome. Are you kidding me? Why it's do you so, need me? It's so weird, but I just, I need you because I wanted a special guest and I didn't want anyone else but you. Oh, I appreciate it. And that. so I'm totally thrilled about it. I even told the guy last night, I went to um, dinner last night at this re- the steakhouse place and the, the server was like, I was like, hey, um, do you ever listen to to the radio? And he was like, well, which, which station are you, do you want me to listen? And I was like, oh, my gosh, dude, I have, I have a show. I'm starting a new show tomorrow. I'm starting a new show tomorrow, and here we go. And so and so I told him, listen to it. And so just a shout-out to King Louis oh. is what I want to do. <laughs> See? There you go. Just, just say, building that starmy. Shout that out. Building the starmy. Um, and he also gave me a little gift, as you can see. I'm going to try and show you guys what it looks like here. Um, this is a mini Tam that we have. Tiny Tam. It looks just like you. Now, <laughs> what's funny is it does have red hair. It does have green eyes. Um, but I, it's close enough, yeah. really. You have and beautiful so, blue eyes. Thank you yes. for that. They're green oh. in the thing. And oh, mine are brown. Oh. Mine are brown. But oh, wait. Yours are brown? Mine are brown. Oh. So I just, I have my little mascot. You guys have mascots in the morning invasion. Yeah, we do. And so I have my mascot now. And I have my um, my energy drink and my Perrier together that I was mixing that you yelled at me for when you came in. Yes. He was furious okay. because. Your energy drink and Perrier. <laughs> Your your Red Bull that's gonna kill you? I'm serious. It's not gonna kill me. Yeah, it's gonna kill you. It's, but it will it will do different things to my kidneys and liver than your than your stevia will do. Really? That's my guess. That's my guess. Really? So thanks for looking you out. Go down but that I'm road? prepped. I haven't even. I've had like four sips of it because I've been so busy and I've just been thinking about what I'm gonna be talking about and so I've been pumped. You about want today. your heart to. Sp- to just palpitating be out, of, out of your chest no. for your first show. I don't drink that junk. What are you talking okay. about? I don't All have right. that. Turn that camera to the side. A lot of people are chiming in on YouTube. Uh, Marcos says, "Hey Tam." Hey. Dexter Spring says, "Good luck, Tam. I know you'll do great." Thank you. Um, Julian says, "Congrats on the show, Tam." Aww. And um, also, we just want to say a big thank you to Dex for being here today because he's You're he's welcome. saving me from basically. Um, having what you've been saying that I'm going to do, which is okay. crash and fail. That was good. Is what you were wanting That was good. To that tell. was your first button that you that hit. That was my that was very great. first button that I hit. And so um, besides my intro song, 
But like you're telling people that I'm just gonna like train wreck, but I'm not. Here's the thing. This is what people need to understand tell, about tell Tam. Them. Tell Tam me. has never really ran a board. Has never been in radio. Well, I mean, you've been on radio. You've been on. You've been on with well, Steve-O for but years. Talking you've been on a with... microphone is so different. Well, it's true. And and running a you, show. Running a show. You talking on the mic and running okay. a board in the computer. There's a lot going on there. There's a, there's lot, a lot of buttons you got to push. It's it's difficult when you, you... got to know when to go right. out when you're going on a exactly. break. Exactly. And, and you, so you've been training the past couple of weeks on running this board. Yes. You and I have been training yes. very... I, the best of the best. Very intensely, and which is a lie. I think it's you even Snapchatted some of it. I did, which was not in my favor. Yeah, I will tell you that. I much. will say there was a there was many train wrecks just uh, um, preparing for yeah. going live. Yeah, sure. So I am prepared for many train wrecks. Today. Okay, but you're doing a great today. job. But oh. you haven't you haven't train wrecked yet. You're doing great today. And so also, good. I want to tell you guys, and that that Dex was actually even nervous for me. Mm. He's still a little bit nervous. Yep. I can see, like, you're looking at my stuff. You see there's a collar. And you're trying to help me out. Because, I want to push things. You know what I mean? I'm such a control freak. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. I'm, like, in my brain, I'm sitting there wanting to push these buttons. Okay. And, and then I see the okay. phone ring, and I just had to, I had to hit it. So Okay, so so the phone is ringing. We have our first caller because we told you guys to call in because we're going to— First, you can say, hey, we can establish some relationship here. And then we've got some cool topics that I've been kind of teasing a little Beautiful. bit for the first hour I about some wait. dysfunction. I can't wait. Okay. So um, we're going to answer this phone call, though, real quick. Mm. Is it we're gonna do because because Dex is you know freaking out about this whole thing. So, uh, hello, hi Tam, hi. Who is this? my name is my name is Vivian. I've been listening to you since you were on the Morning Invasion. Oh, Vivian, thanks for calling you, in and saying hello. I, I actually first seen you sing at the Freedom Force when it was oh gosh, what's the name of that band? Uh, um, battle drum? No. Is it our band? Is it another band? No, it was another band. It's two brothers. Oh, I forgot their name. Oh, was I singing in the band? No, well, you were in battle drums, but I bought the CD Oh, for and King stuff, and Country. And your voice is amazing. Oh, thank you, Vivian. I, You're uh, the best. But I do want to tell you something, though. The Dex is right about the Red Bull. My husband passed away from a... Uh, Preach it. Caffeine overdose. Yep. People need to hear this. You need to talk about this more. I want you to oh tell Tam right now. Oh, my gosh. I want you to tell Vivian. Tam what happened to your husband. Vivian, okay, what? Okay, so my husband was 37 years old. He had an active life. Um, he was working in ministry, as was I. And uh, he was working a lot of hours, really tired and groggy every day. And so he would pick up some uh, gas monkey energy drinks or monster, whatever he could get his hands on. Yeah. And it turned into a full blown addiction. Oh my god. To gosh. the point to where, you know, every time he would get paid he would get a bunch of cans. So therefore he wouldn't have to go to the store. He would just go straight to the refrigerator and pop one open. Mm -hmm. Um and so one morning I woke up and he was not alive. I had to give him CPR and I'm the one that pronounced my husband dead. Wow. Wow. Um, How he awful. he had Seven to six to seven energy drinks a day. Oh my gosh, that turned into a and serious I, issue. And I know, I know, people say, "Oh no, one is not that much. One is, you know, one mm. won't get me going." Trust me. Mm -hmm. Like there's people out there that really go into the hospital for heart attacks, mm. for anxiety attacks, yeah. for stuff like that. Because it really just shuts down your kidneys and yep. overworks it your does, heart. It does. It does. It does. And that. And I. And I have heard of that before. And there's even been times when I even have felt like I felt like something was weird acting in my body. And I will let right. me ask you this: How long ago was that, Vivian? This was um, a year ago, actually. Last a year April. ago. Oh my gosh! First of all, Vivian, I am so sorry to hear that. That breaks my heart. And I, I will, be, because of your call today, I will actively work on um, really thinking about that and doing something about that in my life. You're going to do something and right also, now. I, and FYI, because I used to drink a lot of carbonated drinks as well. Yeah. And I'm on my church worship team, and it does not help my voice. You're right. So the, ener mm -hmm. so the energy and the everything oh that's gosh, in the caffeinated you? drinks, 
will completely destroy Vivian? Your, vocal, Vivian? your beautiful vocal cords. Vivian, Aww. is this Vivian? Vivian, right? Yes. Vivian, I want yeah. you to tell Tam to pick up her Red Bull and throw it in the garbage that I have in my hands right now. Go Tam, ahead. I would like for you to pick up your Red Bull and throw it in the garbage Do and it. crush the can. Do it right now. Oh, my gosh. Her okay. husband died. Okay, I'm doing this. Here's the can. You can see it. Oh my, it's you proof. Better, you better dump it in there It's now. proof, <laughs> and I'm, I'm squishing it. Oh here gosh. it is, and I'm literally... I just threw it away. Thank you. I thank just you. threw it away. Vivian, we love you. I'm glad Vivian, you, thank you I'm for calling. I'm glad you called and shared that because people need to hear that. So that's like, that totally hits. The, Vivian, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for your compliments. And thank you for your, your story, even though how sad that was. It's still very informative to tons of people. And you've actually experienced that firsthand. You've literally been through what an incredibly like traumatic experience. I can't even imagine what well, that day was like. Well, I must say, Tam, there's been a lot that I've gone through. I mean, two years ago, I lost my dad. Nine months after that, I lost my husband. And then Gosh, nine months after... Wow. wow, Vivian. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know what? You calling <laughs> been, today, everyone hard, you every, know, so. everyone who's listening to this today, we just want to remind this is a this is a huge thing for everyone who's listening right now. Mm -hmm. Say a prayer for Vivian and lift her up in your in your prayers today because because she's been through a ton of stuff that we can't even imagine and some of you can imagine. Some people have been through the same thing. Vivian, we love you and we thank you and thank you so much for calling, girl. Love you, Vivian. And hopefully I will hear from you soon. Feel free to call anytime, okay? Of course, love you too. Okay. Have a great day. We'll see ya. Yep, that's not gonna work because you locked you locked it in. See? Okay. See there? Nope, nope, you need to put it on hold. Okay, nope, that didn't work. There now there you go. There it is. <laughs> okay, first of all, <clears throat> wow. Let's just talk about what just happened. Yes. I just had Vivian call, who I thought was she's like, hey, great. And I thought, you know, like it's like, oh, she's so encouraging. Yeah. And then straight up Threw down. Threw down on you. Like, uh, I haven't even had, I've had not even four sips of that thing, yeah. and I my heart's racing because yeah. of that story. Yeah. Simply because of that story. Yeah. Okay, I threw away most of my mm -hmm. stuff in the trash can. Yeah. That was intense. Damn, when I walked in here today and I saw you at a Red Bull, I you freaked seem, out on you. You did freak out. Because I used to be that person. I used to drink one to two uh, Red Bulls or Monsters a day. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it completely changed me. So it even, made me feel awful. And even with that, I was thinking about it. I had to get. A, I was on vocal rest yeah. for six months because I had too much acid in mm -hmm. my uh, in my body, <clears throat> and it was messing with my vocal cords. It was right. It truly so was. So why are you drinking that? So sometimes I do drink that. But why? Because I I do like caffeine. But and I know it's a. It's, it sounds like it's an issue. Okay, but the caffeine really isn't. It's a problem. Caffeine is bad, but. In the, small consumption, the other stuff that's in the energy drink is the stuff that you have to worry about. Oh, you can drink other things that have like caffeine. I like coffee. Right. I like coffee black. I like lattes. I sure. like flat whites. I like and those. I'm not saying that's good for you, but what yeah. they put in energy drinks besides the caffeine, yeah, is insane Whew. and is killing people. Holy smoke! So you need to stop that. If you want caffeine, <clears throat> then drink some coffee. You love coffee. Oh drink my coffee. gosh! Um, whew. wow. Yeah, that was quite the. Oh, quite that, the. What do we got? Um, story. I just, I just kind of noticed you kind of stole all my. I didn't steal anything. Kind of stole all my <laughs> my music and I, hot I, buttons. Yeah, this sounds familiar. Well, simply because I'm pretty sure I used this. You on my, have played it show. once before, this is probably once, and it was in an archive. Property probably, of Dex and Steve. So I pulled it. Yo, that's what I did. You just copyrighted. You breaking I copyright it laws? I just got it, and I'm I said I'm gonna check. play this on I'm my show. To check with our lawyers. They don't see. need this anymore, so that's what I'm doing. Okay. Right. Man, I uh, want to let you know some things we were talking about this morning. Mm -hmm. Take a quick little turn. This morning, huh? Yeah. This afternoon. <laughs> because you are on the morning show, and I am on an afternoon show. That's right. I was thinking about taking a break just to kind of regroup. You're doing great. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Lead us. Just regroup lead after us. that. Because I just lead feel, us. I feel convicted. Tam, lead us. I feel a little overwhelmed. My vocal cord, I can already hear it in my vocal cords. I mean, I'm literally losing my voice as I'm speaking. Listen to that timing. That was incredible. That's beautiful. That was incredible. Uh, people on YouTube chiming in. Dex, you're so funny. Dex, you look <laughs> great. Uh, I love the morning invasion. Um, very excited for Tim. Thank okay. You. Very, very nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, Marco says, Dex, you're funny. Okay. Guys, what? this is not, no, that's not what it says. It no, can't it does. say, it doesn't uh, say that? It says, Julian says, good afternoon, Dex. Dex. Um, hi, um, Dex, smiley face. 
<laughs> uh, good luck, Tam. I know you'll do great. Okay. Uh, Dex, you yeah, look it awesome. Does, yeah, it does have a lot about you yeah, on there. I mean, thanks, Which Dex. is great. Thank you for coming today because I, well, I wouldn't, I don't know what I would have done without you, tell you the truth. I'm here for in you. In all honesty. I'm here for you. Uh, today, I, I'm kind of excited about today uh, because I want to talk about a topic that I find very, very interesting. Okay. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about dysfunction. Okay. Now, let me ask you this question. Do you have any fun in the word dysfunction? Do I? Wait. Let me reword that. Let me reword Hold that. Hold on a second. Let do me I, see my notes. Do I have any fun Let me reword in the word that. word dysfunction? Let me re- <laughs> Where's my note? Because fun isn't dysfunction. <clears throat> You're right. Let me reword that. Oh. Does your Do you put the fun in dysfunction? Do I put the fun <laughs> in dysfunction? Or do you have a family member? Now, don't tell me now. Okay. But when we come back, Think about this. when we come back, okay. I want you to tell me about the strangest thing that has happened so far regarding your family, maybe some friends, maybe you have some dysfunctional friends. Okay. Today, the topic is on dysfunction. Dysfunction. And, like and there's some good stuff in there. There is some fun that we're going to have. And then we're going to talk about some serious stuff. We're going to come bring it back. Bring it. You know what I mean? We're going to do that. I love this. Okay. Okay. I got some stuff. Okay. Right. So uh, so when we come back, just a short break. Don't freak out. Everyone's freaking out at the 3 o'clock hour. They were like, oh, my gosh. You said that you were going to be on this show at 3 o'clock. I, yeah. I apparently lied to everybody because nobody tells me anything. And, yeah, and I didn't know that you lied to everyone yeah. because it sounds like you lied. Yeah, I turned out to just be a big, fat liar. <laughs> so, so now, guys, I'm telling you the truth because I'm here for you now. Okay? I'm here. You're listening to me. You're trusting me. Mm. You're not trusting the voice of Dex. You're trusting Tam. Quality Tam. Full of quality. Full of fun. Full of life. This is here. This is this is what I'm here for. You know, I have to be careful, though, because I don't want to talk too much and then just totally train wreck. No, you're doing great. Because we don't want to do that. How do people chime in? So here's what you're going to do when you want to when you want to text or call or call in. Or you can do Facebook Live as well. Okay? So you can call me at 505-338-3700. Okay? Call me. 338-3700. Area code 505. Or text... The live line at 505-585-LIVE. That's 505-585-5483. So many fives. There's so many fives in that. There's so many fives. Every time I say it, it's so many fives. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear your stories. I want to hear stuff that's happening. How are you dysfunctional? I can't wait. How, How do you put the fun no. in dysfunctional? Like, tell me, like, your family. Like, do you have a dysfunctional family? Like, because we're, also, does. we're yeah. also dysfunctional. Everybody does. So when we come back... Tell me some stories about dysfunctional things that have happened in your family. Let's all share together. We're, we're one big happy family. This is going down. When we come back, you're listening to Quality Tam. Quality. It's totally quality. Here on Star 88. Dr. James Dobson reminds us of this. To succeed in our career at the expense of our family is no real success at all. That's a Star 88 Solar Flare.
Magnetic North without a compass. Yeah, she's quality Tam. Hey! Yo, 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 everyone. Good afternoon. Why are you whispering? Not morning, good afternoon. I'm not whispering. I was just. Why are you talking so It was softly? just the effect. You know what I mean? I'm mm-hmm. just, I was trying to do that the last time. You obviously had an issue with it. You know, but now I'm doing it this time. It's strong. So See what strong. I did there? You're doing great. Uh, when we left for the break, talked about some some dysfunctional things. Or like, have you heard Crystal's accent in uh, in the HR department? She, wait, she's got an accent? She's from, I think she's from Wisconsin. Oh, she is from Wisconsin. And so she says, she goes like this. She says, uh, and so we have to really look at the functionality. She says <laughs> functionality. functionality. So I was thinking maybe I could call it dysfunctionality. I like that. You like it? Dysfunctionality. Do I sound like a m- what is it mid mid west? Yeah, you're in North Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh, don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? You know, know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I was thinking about doing before we left. Before we took a break, talked about some dysfunction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everyone's got those weird family members. Every single one of us. Uh, why are you talking about this? Is it because your and, family's super dysfunctional? Uh, in the, so I will say that my a lot of my family members, yes. They're all listening they are, right now. You know this, right? Dysfunctional. They're all They're all tuning in live um, for your very first show. So what's and, funny is they are tuning oh. in, but not the ones I sent the message to. Like, not you guys. Oh, okay? you, you made sure and told yeah, them, hey, I want sure. to talk about like, <laughs> how dysfunctional the family is, but I'm just texting totally. all of you. Yeah. Right no. now to let you know that it's not about it's not, not directed you. towards you. Not you. It's mm. not you. It's tones it's side of the family. <laughs> That's no. not my side. You're getting it's... me in trouble. Okay. You're getting me in trouble. All right. I uh I am I will be the first to say that I am dysfunctional. Okay. So this past what? this past weekend, oh, Skip talked about this. This past weekend, Skip about talked how about you're dysfunction. dysfunctional. He called me out in front of the whole I'm just kidding. He didn't the whole congregation. That. Pastor Skip He's called like, let me, me out. Tam as his no, example. he didn't. He didn't, but um, but he, but we're talking about dysfunction because everyone has like everyone has issues, right? Mm. You got to think about it. Everybody has these problems, and everybody's going through something, and and like, and sometimes we blame it on the junk that's that's gone on, the the junk that's happened to us. Right. Okay. So he talked this weekend about not blaming it on other people, but taking responsibility. Yeah. And so that's a really good point. But then I started thinking. I was like, man. If you really think about it, like there's a lot of dysfunction yeah. that we have in our families and in, with our friends and just like the things that we go through that no one even knows about mm-hmm. that you think about when you lay your head down on your pillow at night, things that you pray about, yeah. things that are going through your head, like, like, okay, like this caffeine addiction, like before, if I don't know if you guys are just joining us, we had a caller call in Vivian who told me like, Tam, you need to not drink that stuff. It's bad for you. And then her husband was addicted to energy drinks. He passed away. Yeah. His heart. He was drinking six to eight energy drinks a, a day. day. I think it was even more, wasn't it? So, no, yeah, yeah, yeah you're was, right. It was a right. lot. It was I a lot. you're right. It was a lot. It was way too many. And I was thinking, you know, it does start with one thing mm-hmm. and it leads to the next thing. And you've, so, you've told me that before. Right. You've said like, Tim, you can't just have one thing of sugar. But then it's like, where's the, where's the fine line between balance? Right. Like dysfunction, we can talk about it. We can talk about like who's weird. Weird things that have happened, weird right. things that have taken place in our lives. But who defines what's weird? Who defines what's dysfunctional? Well, here's the problem: is I think most of us, not all of us, but mm-hmm. most of us can can see the dysfunction in our lives. We know the dysfunction in our lives, and we know that we want to change it, mm-hmm. but we're either too lazy, mm-hmm. or we we just we we put it off, yeah. right? We constantly make excuses of why we can't because of work or right. we don't have enough time or sure. we have kids. We always have an excuse for everything. Yeah. And so we put things off and put things off 
It's no different than, you know, starting a new diet. Mm-hmm. You know, you always put that off just just because you don't have time. Oh, I don't have time to eat healthy. Till it catches up to us. Right. And so you just continually just da- you go down this path until it gets worse and worse and worse. And you're not taking accountability for it. People, You don't have people in your life that are yeah. calling you out. That's true. Mm-hmm. Like you did when you walked in the room. Exactly. And you were like, what is that junk you were you're mm-hmm. drinking? Which also, I will say that maybe it's just my head. Maybe it's the placebo effect. But like my tongue feels weird. Is that, am I just nervous? Am I anxious? No, that's because, because you're drinking, drinking uh, Red Bull. That's okay. why. Well, okay, might be that. I've only yeah. had four sips. It's, it's, that's it's... actually, uh, is that a sign of a heart attack? Okay. I'm going to Google that not... Okay, so I'm anyway, as that. we were saying, when we took a break, we're going to come back, and then you were going to tell us, Dex, my special guest, so great to have you here. Thank you. Uh, my special guest was going to tell us of a weird thing in his life, maybe some dysfunction that you've experienced in your life. I'm going to share. Mm-hmm. Sure. I would love to share that. Please do. Right now? Yeah, right. Well, literally right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I asked you to be ready when we came back. Is this the secrets that you want me to share no. or just the dysfunction? No, this is just, give me just, Okay. give me just like something that's dysfunctional. That's so weird. Like, do you have a weird uncle? I have an, yeah, I do. It's so yeah. weird, right? I have, uh, I have an uncle, Ted. Okay. Well, don't give me his name. I hope he's not listening. I don't want he streams you. Because he streams me in the morning. No, you don't need to give me his name. That's not what I. I think Uncle Ted I'm... is listening. I think we're okay. Um, uncle Ted. Uncle. Just your uncle. My Uncle Ted. Okay. And, you know, hey, I love him no matter what. Okay. Because he's my Uncle Ted. He's my sure. father's brother. Okay, let's not get into details. No, I mean, I just it's say fine. uncle. It's fine. Uncle it's Ted is a ju- great man. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> he, mm-hmm. he got into a relationship with his first cousin. Okay. Is yeah, that dysfunctional? It's a, it's a you little, want it dysfunctional. That's a little you're dysfunctional, right. right? You're right. Not supposed to be with their first cousin. <laughs> so That's bad. And you know what? In his defense, maybe... No judgment, Uncle Ted. <laughs> okay. Maybe he didn't know. Well, he fell in love. I mean, was- <laughs> you know, love has no boundaries. Is that biblical? It's not, actually. Okay. Um, well, God's love is just all over the place like just (laughs) infinite you know what i mean but i wouldn't apply that to like being with your cousin you know what i mean like i'm gonna marry them or i'm in love but that's very okay so there's there's some of that old testament oh yeah yeah sure and there's only a few people on the earth you know um i i need to apologize to your uncle can i can we apologize to him i don't know why you need to apologize because i just i just feel bad that you called him out on air in front of everyone and you even said he's your dad's brother like i feel like that's no i'm saying i feel like that's really really specific well do you know what i mean you asked me to name something dysfunctional in my family okay so i did i mean uh, uncle would have worked and then okay so now 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 here's my other question Mm -hmm. is what do you do that's dysfunctional? What do I do? Or that's weird? Because like some people, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I mean, that's <laughs> it's vulnerable. This is my first like, show. This I is mean, a vulnerable. I feel like moment. we just met, and you want me to because... open up about like <laughs> secrets and vulnerability in my life? Are you kidding me? Because this is quality. It's quality, and the quality that we want. We don't want just want dirt on your family and your life. We're talking about this so that we can. Unify. Well, warm together. me up a little bit. I mean, I feel like we just started the show. I don't. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know if I'm ready. Okay. So, for instance, yes, something. Maybe weird. share something about yourself, okay, and then something... I'll feel comfortable. <laughs> okay. You know, okay. maybe maybe okay. do that. Get some dirt on yeah. each other. Okay. So for me, um, something I do that's really weird, that's not dysfunctional, but I'll just talk about weird. Okay. Is like. I, I I blow air into every glass or cup that I drink out of. Like I can't not do it. That might be OCD. I don't know. Am I mixing? Is oh, is is obsessive compulsive disorder a dysfunctional thing? It kind of is. Yeah. So I guess it falls in the same thing. So there's like little quirks. You that blow I have. bubbles in your drink. <laughs> no, I don't blow. I don't blow. What did you say? No, I don't. When you drink, <laughs> when you drink out of a straw, you blow no! bubbles in there. No, I don't blow bubbles. I'm saying I blow air, like into an empty glass. Into an empty glass? Yeah, like I, I always go. Whew. Why? Because I'm just afraid that there's like cockroach poop in the bottom of it, or like maybe like a it mouse wasn't poop washed or something. Yeah, like what if there's little flakes or something that goes into your throat and then you're choking on it, or you're just like you have the hunt yeah. virus. 
And that's going to get it all out if you go. Yeah, <laughs> blow it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to clean the glass. That's just going to make it all better. In my <sighs> head. <sighs> in my sure head. <sighs> and I do it. And it's really weird because I will even wash the glass. Okay. But then I'll do it again. I'll just do, I'll just, even if it's like once it's dry, I'm like, <sighs> Do you know what I mean? To See, I'm glad, I'm glad you opened up first because now <laughs> I'm ready to open up. I'm ready. <gasps> Someone just said they do that too. I, I see you, Starmie. You told me you do it too. Thank you for that. You want to know what I do? Okay, tell me. So I, it's not as bad as it used to be. It's not as bad? It's not as bad. Does that have to deal with snot? Um, okay. But I used to always have to drink out of plastic cups. Yeah, at my house. That's so weird. I couldn't drink out of just Glass? glasses because I felt like the dishwasher wasn't cleaning the glasses good enough. But I would th- see if for me that would be totally opposite. I would I would want to drink out of a glass more than a plastic cup because I like you can taste the plastic. So I would I would be able to I taste, taste the, the dirtiness. Plastic. You can? No, I can't. Like when you're drinking coffee, would you rather drink coffee out of a glass? I don't or drink out- coffee. Oh, that's true. Okay, but you drink. You had to drink out of a plastic cup. Yeah, a red solo cup. Oh, okay, now it's. No, I'm not. I'm not oh. kidding around. Now it's so specific. Yeah, because you can get like a giant thing of them. That's true, and then you would never. Would you yeah, never so it was always it? a red solo cup. It's would not you? that I needed a specific red solo cup. I just it was yeah. always a red solo cup. Sounds like you're going back to your high school days. You know what I mean? No, I'm serious though. I okay. mean, okay. And not so- only that, even like. Um, I would prefer plastic wear over regular silverware. Why? I don't know. Well, tell me why. I don't know. Okay, you don't it know. It had to do something with germs. Germs. It okay. has something to do with that. Because when you, like, touch it, you feel... Because I just feel it not clean. I feel it not clean. And it, you can dispose of the plastics. Yeah, I can dispose of it, and I and feel like plastic is clean. Nobody's touched it. Okay. I don't want to eat off of something. But here's the, here's the weird thing. Okay, tell me. I can go to a restaurant where it's... A thousand times dirtier, and they're probably yeah, not even cleaning it like my dishwasher does. Ugh. And I have no problem Ugh. drinking out of a glass or using the silverware at a restaurant. How weird is that? That's super dysfunctional. Wow. I can't drink out of my glasses or eat off my silverware at my house, but I can at a restaurant. You know what? How crazy is that? So what we're experiencing right now, everyone, the listeners, um, although Dex is anxious, what we're talking about is a little bit of dysfunctionality. Okay. The fun and dysfunction is what we put yes. in there. And the fun that we put in there is the weird things that we do. Also, a, a text uh, we got a text that said, hey, define dis- dysfunction. I think that's a great point to define dysfunction because I was thinking about this. We all do like really, really weird stuff. Like this person just said, I put salt on almost everything before I eat it. Well, that sounds kind of normal. But what if they're putting salt like on their peanut butter? Yes. What if they're putting salt on their apple? Which I've heard people doing. Okay. Now, you're looking up what the, whoa. Just turn my microphone up really easy, loud. Easy. Woo, hit a button there. You're looking up dysfunctional, uh, but it looks like I beat you to it. Oh, okay. well, hey, my bad, I'll back okay, up. Okay, who's show? steering the my ship? Bad. Thank you. My bad. <laughs> oh, I looked up dysfunctional, and um, the definition of dysfunctional is actually, it's actually pretty lame. Tell you the truth. It's not the one I want. What I want, <laughs> what I wanted, here we are, here we are. Go ahead, go ahead and hit that the, crash. The, the uh, dis- crash. <laughs> you can hit that button for me. Okay, defining dysfunctional. Okay, dictionary says dictionary like it's a person. Dictionary. Okay, it's an adjective. Adjective. Whew. Should have done my warm ups. It says that it's. Uh, it says. Okay, so when I copied and pasted, it, it turns out mm-hmm. I I actually cut off the, the actual definition. But I think that what it said when I... <laughs> okay. Um, that's not happening. That's not... That didn't happen. Okay. Let's... Let's... Nope. <laughs> let's put that back down. Um, your definition of dysfunctional... Pull it up because when I copied and pasted it, it oh oh it's right here in front of my face. It says not, <laughs> it says not operating normally or properly. Yes. Well, that's ridiculous. <clears throat> Who put that in here? Not operating normally or properly. That makes 
no sense How at all. How does that not make any sense? Because that's exactly what I was talking about. No. Me, I'm not I'm not operating normally or properly. But, but at what point does normal define normal? And now, I'm not trying to get all crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, there's not really one thing. Because I think that's just, that's just junk. All that's junk. But, like, there is a bit in me that says, well, who's defining normal here? Like, why does it matter to me that you would drink out of plastic cups? Why does it matter to me that you would want to do that? It shouldn't. It shouldn't matter to me. Well, I mean, unless you come to my house and you're like, I just can't do it. I have to adjust my whole life. And I think that's kind of where we have to define it. Right. Is abnormal would be like defining abnormal would be like it's literally interrupting your day. Yeah, exactly. Right. And that's that's it. My my weirdness with having to drink out of plastic cups is yeah. not affecting my life like it's it's. Uh, ruining really it. disrupting it or ruining it. Yeah. But it's, uh, you could still say that it's disrupting my life. Because it is a little bit. Because I should have no worries <clears throat> drinking out of a regular glass or yeah. using silverware. True. And, and I'm spending extra money on buying all this plastic yeah, that's stuff. Yes, I was going to ask you. It was like, did you spend more money doing that? You probably did. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we, can we say that? I mean, I'm not saying, but I'm saying. Uh, there's some people who, who do some weird stuff. Um. It says a, a weird seeing, a weird seeing, I think they meant thing, that I do when I'm eating french fries is I can't eat the one with the pointy tips. They have to be like the perfect squishy fry, like squared. I don't like any hard points on them. And if there's a hard point, no. then I'll eat it all the way up to that part and then I'll throw it away. Yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, like, but, like it's a French fry. You I mean, can't just eat the whole thing. Like, what's the deal? Oh, okay. You can't just drink from a glass cup. Oh, you know okay, what? people are struggling you out know there. What? And it is a thing. Okay, so that is a little strange. It's a little strange. It's fine. It's a little strange. There's some people who say that they save. I save and reuse everything. Plastic bottles, plastic wear, Ziploc bags, etc. Here's the thing, though. You better not be putting the plastic wear in the dishwasher. Oh, yeah, because cause you can melt that. And well, you can melt the chemicals. it. Yeah, and exactly, it releases when you heat up the plastic when it yeah. dries in the uh, in the uh, dishwasher. Yeah, it releases these toxins. Yeah, in the plastic. So when you drink out of it, you're actually ingesting the toxins, that's and what they you can say, you can get cancer. Yeah, that's what they say about uh, the water bottles. That Cheryl Crow got cancer from that. That's right, from her from her water bottle. Water bottle. Because she would leave it in the car, and the sun would hit it, and she it would, would drink release the warm water. these toxins yeah. into her water bottle, and she, that's how she got cancer. Is that a fact? Yeah, we Googled it before. Did you? Yeah. We've talked about it on the morning invasion, okay, Monday well through then, Friday from you, 6 to 10 a.m. Okay. If you want to follow me, it's Dex Toth on Instagram. You promote your show. I mean, did you promote my show today? You did. I did you all did. morning. Fine. I said I'd be here at 3. And, <laughs> and then, of course, yeah, I'm not supposed to be here till 4. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm sorry. Um, speaking of weird, I want to tell you a weird story. Can you can you do it after the break? Because we're way late. Yeah, I'm going to do it after the break because I was going to tease it. Do you see what I mean? Remember, you, just, you were supposed to hit that PowerPoint at 4.30? It's like 4.42. It's so hard to keep track of that time. It's so hard. Because you are, like, so easy to talk to. You know <laughs> well, what I mean? Well, I know. I mean, Man, you'd think I'd have Jesus for a living or easy something. easy to talk to. You have easy any red as ever. cups around here? Um, we're going to take a break. But we're not going to be gone for long because when we come back, I'm going to tell you this real weird story. Because we're talking about weird stuff today. Talking about a little bit of dysfunction. And there's a point to all of this. Later on, we're going to talk about the mindset and how to get out of that. So weird stuff that happens because we joke. Some of it is pretty funny. And there's some stuff that's pretty serious, right? Yes. And so so we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But when we come back, I'm going to tell you the craziest story okay. about some twins. Because I said it earlier in the three o'clock when I, in my three o'clock hour, but I have to tell you because I need to know what you think about okay, this. Okay, can't wait. I just have to know about this. I mean, I have to know what you think about this. So we're gonna be back. This is Quality Tam, my special guest, Dexy. How Dex. do people chime in? Are we live right now? Yeah, we're live right now on Facebook Live, and you can call me at three three eight thirty seven hundred. I would love to hear from you. Call me 505-338-3700. or text me. Text me at five eight five live. That's five zero five five eight five five four eight. Three. We're also on YouTube. We're on YouTube. We're on YouTube Live. Star 88 FM on Facebook and YouTube. Oh, my gosh. Dex, you're doing great. I just want to say thanks for that. You're doing great, Tam. Thank you for that. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Quality Tam on Star 88.
We all want the best future for our children. Our next generation of leaders need a strong foundation. With small classes, a great sports program, and affordable tuition, Evangel Christian Academy strives to equip students for the work God has for them. ECA's mission is to shape and empower the Christ-loving leaders of tomorrow. By using a leadership-driven and individualized learning model, our staff can better prepare your student to stand strong in their faith and be ready for the real world. ECA also utilizes dual credit through CNM by offering four courses on our academy Academy campus taught by our staff. Since 1976, Evangel Christian Academy has been serving children from preschool through 12th grade and is fully accredited. We are located at 4501 Montgomery Boulevard Northeast in Albuquerque and are currently enrolling for the 2018-19 school year. Please contact Evangel Christian Academy for a tour today at 505-883-4674 or go online to ecanm.info. That's ecanm.info. Now, a Star DA PowerPoint. Here's Francis Chan. Don't just take my word for it. Read this book for yourself. Okay, I'm begging you. You have to be sure of this. I don't understand why people are so casual about what they believe. Do you understand you're going to see him? You better know what you believe. You better be sure of what you believe. I mean, literally, that could be the most devastating, worst moment of your existence, leading you to an absolute horror of pain forever, or it could be the greatest. So if there's one thing you need to know, one thing you got to be serious about, you better know where you're going at the end. You better know what it's going to be like when you see his face. So don't just take my word for it. Study this book. That was Francis Chan on Star 88 with a PowerPoint. She pretends to be a fish and hunts for bears with her bare hands. She's quality tan. Hello, everyone. 
one. It's Tam. Tamsy Poo. Quality Tam. See, did you like that intro? It's beautiful. Okay, but I, I, sh I should do the other one. I, I get it. I, I should do the other one, I know. Some work better than others. We want to thank you guys mm. for being so forgiving to me, as this is my first show. It's a real deal. I'm excited about it. We're getting tons of feedback, right, Dex? Yes. Dex is my special guest today. By the way, I'm not wearing a V-neck. It's just creased. Yeah, <laughs> people okay. want to know. It's just creased. You know, but it, I think it I put, is. I put on a shirt that was on my floor. And it's all wrinkled. <laughs> but it, no, it's not. A, and you know what? Even if I was wearing a V-neck, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Your I'm dysfunctional, fine. right? I'm dysfunctional and I'm proud of it. Talking about dysfunctionality today. If you're from the Midwest, you know how to say that word. Functionality. Oh, my gosh. Um, And um, talking about weird stuff. Yeah, like Marcos on YouTube says he has to eat his hamburger in a circle. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> like in a circle? Who's going to do that? He eats it. Wait, so yeah, you take maybe a bite. I've done it once. You take a bite and then you like rotate it? Yeah, you just rotate it. That's weird. Well, okay, so can I just tell you that? I've done that before, but I've done that like I have to like do it with thinner buns. Do you know what I mean? No, no. You're, th you're thinking about you're thinking about the board, thinking about running the ship right now. No, because your eyes. To, no, I'm trying to figure out what I'm saying. What that has to do with okay eating in a circle. No, I'm saying that the bun when it's thinner, it's cool. You can eat it in a circle. And it feels kind of cool when you do it. No, it's weird. I, you know what? I don't know. I've never done it. Forget it. Just try it. Like I mean, if you were... I've eaten a I've eaten a bite of my burger. Well, you're not eating gross food anymore, so it doesn't really matter. No, I've eaten right. I have I have eaten a bite of my burger okay. and then flipped it over because flipped I noticed that this the other this side of the burger, burger looks tasty. tasty. And so I take a bite. Yep. Mm -hmm. So then I have two, two different bites, bites on two different sides. sides of the burger. That is so much work, man. That's a lot of work, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird stuff. Talking about weird stuff today, but I had a weird story that was real, that I that I shared earlier that I really want to tell you. I can't wait to hear it. Okay, it's about these twins. Okay, you hear? Do you see, you see what I mean when I said twins? So what I'm doing is identical I'm just trying, twins. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to find the story. Right? <laughs> see, when you take a break, that's when you prepare. <laughs> Hold on. I got it. No, no, I got it. <laughs> That is enough. <sighs> Man. <laughs> so sorry. Sometimes I cannot control this man. This man you I call. I am a man. Dex. I am a man. <laughs> this boy. <laughs> this little boy. I am man. Hear me roar. So Are you going to share the story? I have a story for you. I, <laughs> I do. I have a story for you. Um, Here's my story. There's these twins, right? Right? Are you listening to me? I'm, I'm glued. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm glued. Talk to me. Okay. So these guys, twins, this is weird. Jim Springer and Jim Lewis, brothers. Okay? Identical? Identical twins, separated after birth. They met February 9th, 1979 for the very first time. That's when I was born. Okay. They first met at the age of 39. 39 years old, 39 years, not even knowing that the other brother existed. Not a clue. Okay, so you have a twin brother. Just put yourself in this Okay, so shoes. they met, but they had no idea? They had no clue they had twins. But they're twins. identical. They are identical, but they didn't know they were twins. So it's like you not knowing you yeah, have a twin. Yeah, but if you ran into your identical brother and you didn't even know that that was your identical brother, but he looked just like you, how would you not know it was your identical brother? Okay, they had not run into each other. I thought you just said they ran into no, each other. No, they met. What? They... <laughs> They, Let me start over. <laughs> Two guys, they're twins. They find out they got to meet each other because they find out that the other person exists. Okay. Okay. Now they meet. February 9th, 1979. Okay. They meet. And then they realize, wow, we're identical. <laughs> okay. Soon after meeting, the physically identical pair soon realized how identical they really were. Each had childhood dogs named toy okay first of all what are the odds that you would if i was your brother okay we met at 39 years okay. old and we ran into each other for the very first time right what are the odds that i would name my dog toy and you would name your dog toy wait that happened that happened 
They're talking to each other and they're like, hey, what's similar about us? What's the same? That's what it is. I name my dog Toy. You name your dog Toy. That, not only that, they both named their childhood dog named Toy. They married a woman by the name of Shut up. Linda. What? Same they both name. married they Linda's? They both married Linda's. Did they have red hair? And that was their first marriage. They both got a divorce. What? They both did a second marriage and their wives were both named Betty. That's my mom's name. If this isn't freaking you out, I don't know what will. Because this is real. Identical twins are just basically cloned versions of yourself. Well, yeah, but then you find twins that are totally separate. They don't even they don't even have the same anything. Yeah, my uh, niece and nephew, they're twins. They're not identical, but they're twins. But do they think the same? No, they're completely different. See, completely different. Completely different. But I have seen identical twins that do think different hmm. as well. Okay, so not only it doesn't stop there. They they meet each other. They're like, wow, we look the exact same. Okay, but then they start realizing, okay, so tell me about your childhood. Blah blah blah. Dog named Toy, married to a woman named Linda. Both get a divorce. Both marry the second wife named Betty. How is that? It's okay. impossible. But here's here's what I don't understand. Okay. How this? Tell me. Because it's not like mm-hmm. they go. So did they go out there looking for a woman named Linda? Like, oh, I, if I'm gonna go be with somebody, I need to marry somebody that's named Linda. No. But that we see what I'm saying though. How weird that is. That's why it's so weird. How is that even possible? That's what I'm saying. Mathematically, that's, why, that's impossible. That's why. Well, it's not impossible. But. That's why this show is quality. Oh wow. Okay, because I just brought back. this story to a whole nova level. If you know what I mean. Is this a real story? This I'm, is a I'm real. Go- I'm googling this <laughs> Google right now. Google it, dude. I don't think it's real. Google it. It's a real story. They vacation on the same Florida beach, which is normal, right? Not a big deal. It's a thing, okay? People all, everybody goes to Florida. Not everybody, but some people. That's that's not as crazy. But then they they shared nearly identical IQ. That that's them. Okay. Okay? They shared nearly identical IQs, habits, facial expressions, brain waves, heartbeats, and handwriting. Both were chain smokers. <laughs> To had tell working you. shops in their garages, drove Chevrolets, <laughs> and served as sheriffs in separate Ohio counties. <laughs> what? I don't. Did you already say that? No. Oh. That's insane. Okay, so this is just a crazy, <laughs> crazy story. So it creeped me out. This is the craziest story I've ever it's heard. It's creepy because, like, we talk about odds, right? Against all odds and beating all odds and blah, 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 and whatnot. But, like, think about it. That's weird. I mean, it's not the same person. Like, that's basically the The same same person. person, Basically. That's my point. It's so creepy. I thought everybody was different. (laughs) Well, they are. Not those two. Because they. (laughs) (laughs) That just blows that theory out of the water. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because they have separate fingerprints, right? They would have have separate fingerprints. Fingerprints. (laughs) And. And. They they do have some differences. Like when you look at the picture, you well, can tell they they're different. Well, definitely uh, one comes. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> their hair is a lot different. No, for sure. you can see it in their face. You can see that they're different people. One smile is very different than the other one. They could totally fake people out. One hundred percent, they could fake people out. You know who they, who they look like? Who if Charlie look? Brown was an adult. <laughs> like that, that's 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 what Charlie Brown would look like as an adult. You're right. Yeah. It, that does look a lot like Charlie Guys, Brown. Guys, just Google the remarkable gym, gym twins, twins separated at birth. They, they shared, shared the, the same, same life. life. Google that. That is insane. Okay, now before we went on a break, because we were going to talk about this, you told me that I had to take a break at 4.58. But it's 4.58, man. Go to break. I can't go to break. Yeah, you got to go it's to break. It's too good. Tease it and go to break. Ugh. I got to go to break, you guys. It's, it's the law. I work now for these people who... Tell me when I have to go to break. Go to break. So I have to go to break. But when we come back, I want to tell you another real weird story. Uh, man, if you can top that story. This one's really weird. Okay, but I've got a really weird story to tell you when we come back. Reading your texts online. Thank you so much. Keep chiming in. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. We'll read some more when we come back. Text us at 585-LIE. That's 505-585-5483. Oh, I got a caller. Hang go to on, break, Hang on the line. Hang on the line. Go to break. And we will talk to you so soon.
Paradise Village, a power partner for Star 88. From pre-wiring a new home, home theaters, to systems ran with smartphones. Integrated systems and security camera installations. Located at 4205 San Mateo Boulevard Northeast in Albuquerque. Or online at paradisevillagenm.com. Paradise Village, 505-881-6375. That's 505-881-6375. They're not interested in finding customers, but creating relationships. Star 88 thanks Paradise Village for their financial support. Don't miss Harvest America 2018 with Greg Laurie on this station June 10th. But first, kicking off at 3 p.m. Mountain Time is the Harvest Invasion, an exclusive live look at Harvest America with Dax and Steve-O. They'll discuss this year's event and talk with the talent and artist at Harvest America. You can't miss this. So tell everyone you know and tune in for the Harvest Invasion, June 10th, 3 p.m. on Star 88. Hi, it's Dex. We want you to share your star story. How has Star 88 and the Morning Invasion impacted your life? I just wanted to say um, you guys are hilarious. You really make the morning traffic, the morning drive to work not so bad. Gives me time to hear you guys, and I think people might think I'm a little crazy sometimes because I'm laughing hysterically when you're talking about some of the stuff you talk about. But just keep it up. God has a purpose for you guys, and that's to share his love with all of us. And laughter is good for the bones. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Star 88. We want to hear your star story. Call us now, 505-585-LIVE. That's 505-585-5483. And share your star story. This is KLYT, Albuquerque, Santa Fe, rebroadcast on KKCJ, Cannon Air Force Base, KPKJ, Mintmore, K201CC, Las Cruces, K203EZ, Alamogordo, K207CQ, Gallup, K211CW, Hobbs, K212EH, Silver City, K214DE, Antonito, K218AK, Artesia, K250AB, Roswell, K293AO, Alamosa, k 228 DQ Portalis in the free app for iOS and Android and online at star88.fm.
Tony Tam on Star 88. You know she's not normal. She's not like other girls. Okay. Turn your mics on. <laughs> so. Can we dump that? Okay. <laughs> producer, can we dump that? Can we dump that, producer? Am I the producer of this show? Yeah, you are. I'm sorry. Man, I was so ready because when it said, like, she's not normal, like, I was like, yeah, you got that right. You're ready to go. I mean, is, and then I messed up, which is funny. It's funny that I messed up on that spot, yeah, right? Yeah, that's that's pretty funny. Beautiful. Um, Hey, guys. Quality Tam here. Enjoying an awesome afternoon with You're you. You're doing great. I can't believe it's already 5.05. That was the fastest hour of radio. Wow. I think it's been two hours. Great quality you know what I mean? topics. Because we started at three, even though we had a few more breaks. Okay, I know that. And then people were upset about it, which is a great sign. Mm -hmm. It's a great sign that people were mad Yeah. that I wasn't talking more. People get fired up, man. Because, you know, Steve was here. He'd tell me to be quiet. You know he would. Well, I He'd mean, tell me to be quiet. And then you still told me this morning, you were like, oh, you shouldn't give people advice to not say that. And I don't know what you said. but you, I did? You said something this morning when I called in to give advice. And you were like, you were like, oh, like you should be telling people not to talk or something. That was Steve-O. I wouldn't no, say No, it that. was you. I can replay the tape. Okay. We can revisit the That's tape. Fine. It was you. That's fine. But my point is, is that it sounds like they're upset that I wasn't talking more. So I really well, people think expected one thing. I, I was promoting the show is that I'd be on. Yeah, a three, you're right. And then people you're were right. tuning into three, and then I wasn't here, and then they freaked out. You're right. Answer the phone. So someone's calling. We're gonna listen to our little caller. He's calling in right now. Yeah, his name's Buck. What? How do you know who it is? That's I, it. I know it is. I can let, feel let me, him. I, I did see. a show with him for 15 let years. Me. I can feel when he's calling. No, we're about to find out. Yeah, uh, right. Hello, caller. Hello, better, caller. Better. How's it going? Mm -hmm. uh, hello. Oh, what, what did I say? You were spot. Did See, he text Buck you? Buck and I are a lot like twins. Okay, we've done the show together for so long that yeah. basically I can read his mind. You guys and he can basically read my wear mind. the same underwear. Well, no, I mean close enough. Buck, hello. Hello. Hi, are Buck. You, are, I want you to. I want you to know seriously. Yes. This morning in my car when I was driving to work. Yeah. I was praying for you oh. fervently. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're so nice. Is that, was, is that was nice or is that you. really mean? Well, he was afraid was for me. I was crying out to Jesus for you. I was <laughs> praying for you that what? you would be calm and you would do really well uh, and you would be confident. Oh, thank you. You know what? It, and it's it, it's working because she's doing great. You're the nicest. Buck, thank you for that. And yeah. thanks for all of your inspiration. We've only had five train wrecks. We've only had a couple train wrecks. So far, so good. People are chiming in. I'm feeling comfortable. I'm not 100% comfortable with the board yet, but I'm thankful that Dex is here. I get a special guest tomorrow, but I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna tell you who that is until like right at the end of the show. And apparently this guest, oh. they've been trying to get this guy in a bunch. Really? But he hasn't been, he hasn't been wanting to come in. I mean, maybe he does, but he's such a busy guy. You know what I mean? He probably wow. wants to come in all the time. Sounds important. He is. He's a real important guy. And so he, it's me. And so is it you? And he asked me. He <laughs> asked me. He asked me to come in, in on the show to be a special guest. And so I thought, you know what? How cool would it be to have a special guest like every day of the week? Do you think that the old chipper will say yeah? I don't know. I gotta ask my boss. Here's what. Here's what I want to give you a piece of advice. Give me a piece of advice. Do what you want, and then <laughs> know, ask for on, what, what. I know what he's going to say. Go okay, ahead, tell me. Tell I me know what he's going. Can I go ahead and tell yeah, you? Yeah, go please, ahead. See, please, we're please. twins. Easy. It's it's easier to ask. For forgiveness, forgiveness and permission. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Steve <laughs> won't listen to me. He he always asks first, and I don't know why he does it. So we're Facebook living right now. This is private information. Yeah. We're Facebook living publicly, which is not private. But um, but we don't even know if we were supposed to do that. Like we don't know if we're allowed to do. We're doing it right now. And Dex just turned all this stuff on. Yeah, yeah. She was scared to turn. Live? Yeah, was she was scared, scared was to turn scared. Facebook live and YouTube live on. <laughs> I'm scared. And I'm like, no, you just do it. And now we're just Facebook Live and we're YouTube Live. People could just watch us and do it. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. You so, know what, Sam? Anyway. You don't have a spirit of fear inside you. Beautiful. Okay, thank you for that. Beautiful. Power, love, and a sound mind. You're the best. Amen. Sister. You're the best. Thank so, you for calling in, Buck. I'm Keep calling going. You, I'm not calling you just to, you know, tell you that you're doing a good job. Okay. This story that you were doing about the twins. Yes. What that's, what that's called is called nature versus nurture. And there have been like... Multiple numerous, stories. numerous cases of this around the world. Yeah, that's real. That's real. Yeah, he's, he's telling you the truth. The craziest, <clears throat> yeah, the craziest one. There was a couple mm -hmm. in um, in England. Yeah, 
and it was a boy girl. They were separated at birth, and they ended up getting married. What? And what? they didn't they didn't figure oh. out that they were related nope. until like right after they got married. And then there was another couple did the same thing, and they went on Oprah. And it was the same thing. Brother, sister, yeah. they were already married. Oh, my god! And they found out after um, they they were married for about a year and a half and they couldn't get pregnant. And then they went to the doctor. And when they did their blood tests and stuff, um, there was something they, they something came up in the in the in the blood in the blood work. Something came up. And then the doctor asked, are you two closer than you think? And they started doing some research and turns out they're brother and sister. Oh my gosh! Thank goodness they yeah. couldn't have kids. Oh yeah, I saw that on Oprah, man. Really? I saw that, on Oprah. that was like oh, yeah. thirty yeah. years right ago. After, right after I won my free Cadillac. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, yeah, totally there a was, true story. There was, yeah, there's another uh, set of twins, two women. Mm-hmm. They lived in Finland, and they were separated in the 40s when they were, you know, at birth. Yeah. And when they were born, um, you know, separated. I guess. Um, I guess their mother committed suicide. It was really sad. Mm. And so they went and lived with other relatives in England and didn't meet each other until they were 40. So four decades had passed. Mm. When they showed up to meet each other, they were basically wearing the exact same clothes. (laughs) Right? Okay. That's so crazy. Same clothes. That's crazy Uh, to me. They were the the same age when they left school. Yeah. uh, Same age when they met their husbands and got married. Yikes. They both had miscarriages on the same exact month, same exact what? year. They they both had two boys and one girl. This is they crazy. both worked in government. They liked their coffee cold. They bought the same types of like toiletries. It's crazy. It's nature versus nurture. That's insane. It is insane. I just I did, it, it's just mind blowing that these twins. Yeah. They never ever met each other. Yeah. Until they were thirty years old, and they found out that they both married women that were named Linda. Yep. Then they got divorced, and then they married another when, woman named, named Betty. Betty, and they both uh, what had kids? The exa- and they named their kids the exact well, same name. They had they had the they had the same amount of kids. No, okay. I think they, they they did name two two of their two right. of the three children the same name. And they all were chain smokers. They were all they chain all smokers. Like, they all had the, they all same, had the same habits. Right. And like That's weird. It's really weird. It's crazy stuff. Buck, thank you for mm. proving that I'm not a liar. You know, Dex was, no, Dex was second uh, guessing. You know, there were actually, there were studies. And there's this. multiple. Like, I mean, yeah, exactly. People have, yeah, people have studied this. Exactly. Interesting. Multiple, multiple yeah. things. This is amazing. Thank you for that. Thank you, Buck. Yeah. Um, did did I, you guys see the story about the longtime friends that got married uh, after they were 50 because neither one of them was married? No way. What? Oh, you have to, you have to, you have to look up this, uh, this story. Well, really Google cute. it. Longtime friends make good on pack to marry at fifty if still single. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, that's a good one. I'm looking it up. It's on baby. It's on babygaga.com. Oh, oh wow. thank okay. you. Look, he's lady, on it. Lady Gaga. No, it's baby. No, I think baby. Ga- oh wait, no, I'm sorry. That's the wrong website. Like, that's the wah, website about the twins. Wah, <laughs> wah. Like that. If you could, uh, <clears throat> if you could just uh, right, we'll look it text up. that in on the live line. We're gonna look it up. Text it in. Nature versus nurture. I will. I'll, I'll, Nature versus nurture. I'll put two texts in for you. Okay. Yeah, for real. Buck, thanks for calling. Hang in there. You're the best. You bet. Thanks, caller. Uh, thanks. Whatever, Dex. <laughs> what a nice guy. <laughs> uh, people were calling mm. in. I'm sorry. I should have put you on hold. I I I know you're calling mm. in, and then you hung up the phone, and so you're like, she doesn't even want to talk to me. I do. I want to yeah. talk to you. I want to hear what you have to say. I had this weird story to tell, and then and then because because we're talking about weird stories, yeah. right? And so I just I want to tell you the story because I thought it was actually kind of kind of funny. Um, this story sort of surprised me because I was um, a little shocked. It's called Balloon Buddies. Balloon Buddies. Yeah, that's what it's called. You ever heard of it? Wait, hold hold on a second. Yeah, it's real. Is this like the Strange Addiction episode where nope. the guy <laughs> loves balloons? No. Oh. So you think that's weird? Is that too loud for you? Feel good? It's beautiful. Feels great. Balloon Buddies. Laura Buxton released a helium-filled balloon during celebrations for her grandparents' gold wedding anniversary in Blurton, Staffordshire in June 2001. Attached to the balloon was her name and address and a note asking the finder to write back. So she sends this balloon out, right, with a little note on it saying, send something back. Ten days later, she received a reply. The balloon had been found by another 
Laura Buxton what? in the garden hedge of her home in Wiltshire, 140 miles away. Both Laura's were ages 10, and both had three-year-old black Labradors, a guinea pig what? and a rabbit. Were they related? No. What they are the were chances not, of that? That's my point, man. These are weird. These are weird stories, and they're real people. Like, I've been looking at them. Oh, sorry, look, someone sorry. just took. You know, down. why did you, why, I'm what? <laughs> okay. See I'm what sorry, happens? I'm you want to control. control. I know, I'm You want to control, sorry, and then you press a button. Time. Slap my hand. Please call back, caller. Caller, right. call back, whoever you are. Call back. Over here. And I'm sorry I missed you. I'm, I apologize sorry for that. that. Okay. 505 338 3700. Feel free to call or text us at the live line 505 585 live. That's 505 585 5483. Weirdest story ever. Talking about dysfunction today. Talking about weird stuff that happens. Just weird stuff. Okay, so let me get this straight. Okay. A woman puts a note in a balloon yep. that has all the information on how to contact her. Yep. She lets it go. It travels miles away. And and, and the note said, send this to me. Send a letter to me that you received this. Okay, Whoever so, receives so it. So the person that received it yeah. happened to be the exact same name of the woman who sent it? Who sent it? And the same age, and they both had black Labradors, a guinea pig, and a rabbit. I don't know, man. I just like, don't know if I believe. That. I mean, you. Can, it's like you don't want to believe it, right? But then you have proof of these people. But then again, like this today, today's day and age, you could do anything. Like you could What's pose to be What's whatever. What's your name? Laura. Laura. What? Laura Buxton. Laura Buxton. So what are the <laughs> chances of somebody else finding a balloon with the note? And that other woman is named Laura Buxton. They're not high. They're not age. high. They're low. Same everything. Same everything. Gosh, guys, this is weird. I don't know how I feel about your show. It's very, uh, <laughs> it's, it's very uh, witchcrafty. No, it's not. Um, no, it's not. No, it's uh, not. getting with the weird feels. Um, I do want to say we need to give a shout out where shout outs are due. And we need to say hi to our friends in Pennsylvania, in Boston, beautiful Rhode Island, good morning, I mean, California, good New Mexico, because we're here, and Colorado. We got lots of people listening in. Um, we also have a, a caller on the line. Hello, caller. Hello, yes, I was calling about the balloon. Oh my gosh! Tell me that this is the this is my is this my brother? Uh, yes, I I get balloon in backyard. It says. Uh, Whoa! Did you uh, just turn Russian? Tim, and that's my name. My name is Quality Tim. So at first, I wanted to say first, I I thought you had a cold. Second, then you turned oh. Russian. You straight up yes, turned the, the Russian. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. are you? Where who are you? I would say North Dakota. North. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. That feels right. You know what? I'm the guy who tried calling also, and you can't answer the phone for I'm me. so sorry. I know. You can't answer the phone for me. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. Bro, What's your name, caller? Steve-O, we miss you so much, and, and bless you for calling. And do you think this is a train wreck? And whoever's calling right now, just hang on the line. Oh, my gosh. No, uh, you know what? You guys are doing a really good job. Just want to encourage Dex. It, he's got a future in radio, you know? It Aww, sounds like he's going to go sweet. places. Thanks, man. He just, needs to get, he just needs to get a better co-host. Um, okay. However, Cameron, wow. you sound this... amazing. Stop, <laughs> stop, stop bringing other people in the studio. You don't need him. I'm You're going to do great without him. Okay. I, I love I'm the 3 o'clock hour. I'm going to try. I'm having a hard time. I'm working on it. I love you, Sivo. Thank you for calling. At least I have a little bit of encouragement. Thank you. I told you yeah, the exact you know? same thing in the 3 o'clock hour. Bye. Fine, fine. That's pretty great. That's pretty um, great. You can have me as a guest Plus, on your show anytime. No, yeah, no, that's okay. I'll, I'll consult the program director and see what we're what we can okay, do about yeah, that. Yeah, for we sure. don't have one. Call me, call me. So, bye. Cool. Okay. Have a great day. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Um, wow, you look up oh, on him fast. Did I? What do I do? I, well, I'm trying to answer the next people. See, I just did. I hang up on those people too. Yeah, you did. Man, I answered your phone call right as you called these people. It's so hard to, to catch so you guys. Un, so impatient. I'm sorry. Try not to be impatient. Just hang on the line for a little bit. You know, I got to think about a conversation that's going on. Oh gosh, it's so much. What, what are we talking about? Where what are we? We're, at? What we're talking about is we're just recapping here. Talking. We started off the show 
with some dysfunctional stuff. We're talking about some weird things that happen in life. Talked about some funny things, like weird things that we do. You said that you drink out of a plastic cup. Yep, red solo cups. Um, that that's what you were doing. You didn't want to drink out of glasses. It was weird, kind of yeah, like the this whole weird germ thing. thing. The yeah, germ thing. The germ thing. Then some people chimed in, talked about how they also had some weird stuff going on. You know, my dad, he like lines up his Cheetos when he eats them from smallest to largest. Really? True story. He does the same thing with his Doritos, and he puts the crumbs on the side. It's a real thing. Huh. Okay, so. Sometimes we do some weird stuff, and we talked about some weird stories, people with the same name, some twins who met up after 39 years not even knowing each other, and then they're the ones who ended up like having the same thing of everything in life, even a similar IQ. Similar, not the exact same, but very, very, very I, I'm same. pretty sure it's the exact same thing. Yeah. It was probably the same thing. And so talking about dysfunction, and I kind of want to get a little serious Okay, don't be afraid. No, I'm not I'm not scared. Remember, you know? though, you have to be vulnerable first for me to open up. Okay. Okay. I want to talk about something. This past weekend, Pastor Skip, he's the, he's the pastor of Calvary Albuquerque. Pastor Skip Heights. Yeah, Pastor Skip Heights. Good guy. Smart man. Great guy. I wish he would come on the morning invasion. I know. He I know. Never, he never but he's a busy on. guy. He's a busy guy. You can't blame him. The guy works hard, okay? He plays hard, too. He has a great mic. Um, talked about dysfunction yesterday. Well, this past weekend. And he talked about how we're all dysfunctional. All of us. We have the weirdest things happen to us. The weirdest things. And then we deal with, let's go, let's take it home. Like, let's, let's dig a little bit, open that front door, okay? Let's all go into our own houses. And think about something that might be a little dysfunctional in your family. Maybe you've been ostracized from certain family members that you have. Maybe you have struggled with a certain uh, issue that you just feel like you cannot overcome. Okay, so there's addiction. Um, there's abuse. There's so many different topics that we could go into. So we'll, we just kind of say a couple of being topical about them, this dysfunction. Now, we joke about it, and it's funny because I think humor does come out of dysfunction. I think we, we laugh about it. We joke about it, and it's, it's, it's funny. Now— but but the issue is, is is how do we deal with it? And are we really dealing with it the way that we're supposed to deal with it? I'm going to take this caller because they're calling. And maybe they have a question about dysfunction really quick. Okay, we're just going to take this caller. Just really quick. Caller, hello. Is that you? Are you there? Hi, Cam. Hi, Dex. Hi. Hi. So I'm calling because I actually had a sister that came out of the woodworks when I was 26. Wow. Um, and she actually found us on Facebook because of how much my younger brother looks like her. Yeah. Um, and then about six months later, I went out there to visit her, and it was so bizarre because the way that we talk, the way that we move our hands, the way that we get when we're same angry, mannerisms. Everything. Yeah. Exactly the same. Wow. That That's is so nuts. Weird. That's so weird. It's real. Gosh, it's a real thing. <laughs> And it's strange. She's my half sibling, and like the everything that we do. Her husband was like freaking out. Oh, I bet. <laughs> like, I've got a redhead version of my wife sitting right next to her that I've wow. never met before. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Did, did you feel like that caused any problems between the two of you, or do you guys get along? <laughs> we get along, but it was a bit of a bumpy road the first oh. year with all of us because you know it was totally. She, she wasn't a part of the, the family, but then she was, and it, you know, it was a lot for her. Wow. But we're all great now. Man, that's a cool story. That's really cool. Yeah, that is really cool. And I'm happy yeah. that you shared it with us. And thanks for calling. Yeah. I'm You're doing awesome. I love you guys. Have a great afternoon. Thank love you, you. We love you, too. <laughs> Bye. 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 What do I do, Dex? Do I hit no. this one? I hit this one. Yep. And then I answer this call. Yep. Hello. Hello. Why do they do that? I'm doing the right thing. I think it's just the phone. It They're just that. tired? No, it's the phone. Okay. You know, guys, thanks for calling. But here, let me give you some advice. Okay, go okay, ahead. Okay, can I give me some advice? Can you give me some advice? Okay, I'm going to train Tam real quick, all just right? Just really, just do so it So when you're quick. done with the phone call, keep this down, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you see somebody calling, just yes. go ahead and pick it up. But don't, don't let the phone call run the show. So you okay. continue talking, but then when you're ready, you pot them up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't have to well, stop when you ready. see the phone. I'm well, just, I mean, but I know, but I'm just yeah. saying, don't ever let the phone call yeah, yeah, yeah. run, run your the show. show. Does that make sense? Because I was like, I was talking about something really cool. You were, and you got cut off 
And I got cut off because I'm distracted. Seeing, I'm seeing this red light blinking. So you my just eye. And you pick it up and keep the and phone like, down. And I'm like, these poor people. And then they can wait. Oh, they can wait. See, like someone's that. calling out. Someone's Hit calling. it. Keep Here's it down. Here's what I want to do. Keep it down. Now I want you to keep them on hold for okay. a minute. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna keep this calling. Now hold. I want you to talk about what you were talking about and okay. then go to their phone. Okay, call. that's what we're gonna do. This is a training mm-hmm. moment, guys. This is good. Thank you guys for being here in this moment with me. I love what's happening here. I love it so much. And we're oh my gosh, the show is almost over and it's just oh so fast. Um, I was talking about dysfunction and just the fact that like. This is a serious issue because this issue creates a ton of baggage in our lives, mm. okay? And we hold on to it, and we we blame it, and we and we project it, and we throw it around like it's a softball, and it's not. Nobody's trying to play catch yeah. with it, you know what I mean? But yet everybody's doing it, and everybody's going through all this turmoil on the inside, and no one's really being honest about where they're at. And the people who are being honest about where they're at, they're feeling like they're being too honest about where they're at. Exactly. Because people the can't problem. handle and, it. Well, people are judgmental. Yes, very. And they don't treat people right when people are open Sharing. and honest about mm-hmm. their situations. Correct. And you I know? agree with you. And they're, then that's where that's why in bringing this up, right. we talked about it. This dysfunction is is like a it's it's an abnormal when things aren't normal. Well, you know what? If you're used to to abnormal, and you have to get thrown into a world that's quote unquote so so called normal. You're going to not fit in. You're not going right. to feel comfortable. You're not going to feel like you belong there. And so there's a lot of people who grew up in a really dysfunctional home. Right. So so not having a father who beats them isn't normal to them. Do you right. know what I mean? And I, I hate to just hit it right in the face, but I'm just telling you guys, like, this is a serious thing. And this is a, this is a serious issue. Like, people struggle with this every single day because they feel like they don't fit in because right. their normal is not somebody else's normal. Right. Just something to think about. Just no, something to think and about. it's so true because there's a lot of times— and I'll be honest, mm-hmm. there's a lot of times that I have full conversations with pets. Because? Because I feel like I can't talk to other humans. Well. And so I don't tell people that. Mm-hmm. So I talk to pets. Okay. I talk to birds. Okay. I talk to animals. I talk to the roadrunners that are here on campus. Now, if I looked you in the eyes, would you tell me that that's the truth? Absolutely. Okay. So you had pulled off the microphone. A little bit. Called you out on that one. Um, I'm going to take this call. Caller? Hello? Hello? Hello. <gasps> Hi. Hi, Sam. Who is this? This is Sean Ambergy. Oh, Sean! Oh, Sean! I've not, ta- I've not talked to Sean in forever. Sean, how are you? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I think you're doing a great job. Okay, but? And I'm, I'm so oh. proud that they finally gave you your own slot. Oh, oh. oh, you're the Be- best. Because, because honestly, talking about Devo and Dex, I mean, that is the picture of dysfunction right there. Yeah, yeah well, well, I mean, I mean you have a point yeah, is what he's trying true. to say. That's you true. have a solid that's point. Very true. Spot on, solid point. And I appreciate true. that, and I support hey. it 100%. Sure. So I was actually calling in. You know, Dex, you were talking about talking to pets. Mm-hmm. The yeah. strangest thing happened to me yesterday with this nature versus nurture thing. Okay. I um, I have Labradors. I have dogs. Okay. And I have a two-year-old black lab, and her name is Scout, and she is an amazing dog. Okay. Well, yesterday, I drove down to Rio Doso to do some stuff down there for our church camp, mm-hmm. and they have a brand-new dog there at the church camp. No way. And it's a yes, chocolate yeah. lab. <gasps> and I'm like, Oh, you guys got a new la- a new dog because it's a new dog for her on the camp. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Oh, she's sweet and everything about her. And I started looking at her. And I'm thinking, like, man, she sure looks a lot like my black lab. Oh man. And I started asking, like, how old is that chocolate lab? And they're like, oh, well, she's two years old. And I'm like, okay, my lab's two years old. I'm like, is is she like was she from around Rio Doso? Because that's where I got my dog from. It's from Rio Doso. Yeah. They're like, yeah, she's from Rio Doso. And I'm like. She's like her body type is exactly like Scouts. What? And her personality is just Same like dog. Scouts. And I'm like, are you serious? They stole like, your dog. I think these dogs. They stole his dog. Who have never they met. I mean, I think they're siblings. Oh my so gosh! There's, gonna, you got to do blood I'm work. Take her, I'm well. I'm going to take her back down with. I'm going back down next week. Yeah, I'm going to take her. her with me, and I'm going to oh, reunite. Yeah, I mean, them take your dog. That's what I was going to say. If they recognize each other. Wow. That's. Can you call us back and let us know though? Like, if it was real. I, I can't. Okay. I will do that. We got to know. I'll follow up. I'll we got to you know. know. You're the best, Sean. You're awesome. You're awesome. I have another <laughs> call, so I have to take it, but I missed you already. And we thank you break, so actually. much for calling. We got to go to break. Thanks, Sean. Bye. Sean, you're break. the best. Bye, thank Sean. you. Okay. So we have to go. Go to break. I, I, 
Th- no, okay, no. I, I'm going to break. Oh, go. Okay, here I'm go. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to break. But when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna finish talking about this dysfunction thing. Okay, we only have a little bit of Beautiful. time left, but we're gonna we're gonna go to break because I because I have to. You're listening to Quality Tam. Don't go anywhere. A solar flare from John Wesley. One of the greatest evidences of God's love to those that love Him is to send them afflictions with grace to bear them. Star eighty eight. <laughs> Watching the nightly news Don't seem to find the rhythm Just wanna sing the blues Feels like a song that never Stops Feels like it's never gonna Gotta get that fire fire Back in my bones Before my heart Heart turns into stone So when somebody please Pass the megaphone I'll shout it on the count of three Ready for some truth from Jensen Franklin on a Star D8 PowerPoint. 2 Corinthians 7. Listen to this. I had fightings on the outside and I had fear on the inside. Have you ever had a day like that? 
fighting's on the outside. There's so much stuff going on out here in the in, in on my job, in the family. This fighting's on the outside. And even worse than that is fear on the inside. Doubting my own ability, doubting my own faith, doubting my own mind, doubting my own uh, talent. Do I, do I have what it takes? You, that's a bad day when the enemy's not just fighting you externally, but internally. Fighting on the outside, fear on the inside, but listen to what God did to get him through this rough season where he was about to quit. He said, nevertheless, God sent Titus to me and he encouraged me in the work of the Lord. That's Jensen Franklin on Star 88 with a PowerPoint. She thought Jurassic Park was a documentary. <laughs> She's quality tan. Well, <laughs> now we are live. I feel like you need to switch up your beds a little bit. I just, like I'm going to. I have the to same stick. ones over and over. <laughs> I have to stick with the ones I know. Can you please not drink in the microphone? My bad. People don't. <laughs> By the way, I'm not drinking Mountain Dew. Okay, just yeah. to let you guys know, yeah, I'm drinking uh, Sevia. Okay. I think it's Stevia. No, it's Sevia. Whatever. It's and it has zero everything. Cool, because you can't make something out of nothing. Only God can do that. So clearly, there is something in there. Okay? Yes. Health guy? Yeah. No, there's Gosh. not. There's nothing in here. It's zero. It's water. Yeah. That's it. No, I don't think so. No, that's water. I don't think so. Yeah, it's water. It's quality says, uh, tam. Carbonated water. Citric bringing you acid, some quality. Stevia leaf extract and natural flavors. Encouraging you that if your drink says that there's nothing in it, it's highly likely that you've been lied to. Natural flavors. Natural flavors Not is a real flavors, thing. artificial flavors. Natural flavors and mm -hmm. stevia. Mm -hmm. Stevia isn't bad for you. Mm -hmm. They've ran tons of tests on stevia, mm -hmm. and it's not bad like that other stuff that they put in diet soda. Sorry, I blacked out. What were you saying? Okay. You know what? Drink your Red Bull. Um, Go ahead. Welcome back. Drink your Red Bull. It's a quality Tam. See if I care. Just such a quality show so far today. We, <laughs> I just, how hard is it not to drink in the mic? Um, talked about a lot today. Yeah, we're being vulnerable right now. We're talking about a lot of weird, quirky things, things. that we do that, you know, yeah. we, we don't want to admit to people because if we do, people will judge us. And totally. I'll admit something else I do. Okay, okay. When I run upstairs, yeah. I sometimes run like a gorilla. Okay. Here, Why here, are you judging me? I'm not, I didn't. I Why didn't, did you get quiet I when was I said just, that? I was breathing. Why did you act the way that you did when I opened up about how I run upstairs? I was, bre I was just breathing. Because I'm taking it in because everything you say today, I'm not going to be shocked. I'm not going to be shocked at what you tell me. Because there are so many other things in the world that happen that are very different than what other people do. You want to just throw it out there? You want to give me some more? Tell me what you do? Sometimes I practice poses in the mirror. Okay, when no one's home. When no one's home. Yeah, or when people are home. You just shut the door and you're practicing poses. Sometimes I dance. In the mirror. Alone. Okay, and that's fine. And you know what? You talking to pets? That's fine, too. That's actually oh. pretty normal, tell you the truth. That's almost one of the number one reasons why people get pets. Sometimes I host my own cookery show. In your house. When I'm alone. Okay. <laughs> well, then that's what you do. Because if you love culinary, I ain't going to stop you, boo. You know what I mean? You got to follow your dreams. You got to follow that. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Anything else you want to admit while you're on air? Yeah, sometimes I pretend uh, I'm in a music video, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay, you want to show some dance moves that you have? No, because I'm not alone. Okay, well. These are things I do in privacy. You know what? Thanks for being vulnerable. I'm being vulnerable. vulnerable you are being talking vulnerable. Talking about them. And I'm thankful for it. And I'm thankful for the Starmie members that are chiming in saying, I yeah. do the same thing, They Dex. do. They do the same thing. Thank you. Tons of, like, I feel like this is one of those moments where we're not going to abuse this because we could even say something, like, just so crazy, and then someone's like, I do the same thing, too. And we're like, oh, we were just kidding. No. We're just going to let you guys share and be vulnerable. Feel free to call. You can always call. 585 I mean, that's a texting line. 585-5483, area code 505. So many fives. Um, the phone, you can call 505-338-3700. Feel free to call me anytime you want. I mean, of course, within reason of when I'm on the show. Um, we only have, like, what, 20 minutes left of the show? And clearly these minutes have been flying by. I love your participation. Oh, we're on Facebook Live. We're on YouTube Live. The topic is how weird are, are you? Are we? Are we? And you. And there's dysfunction. And we were talking Don't about it. Don't judge me. 
And then he we says talked I'm about weird. we talked about some weird stories that had happened before, which was um, a lady, the balloon buddy thing with the lady Laura Buxton, who was ten years old, who released a balloon. She left her her phone, her address, and her name, and that somebody wrote back. She ended up being with the same name, same age, same color Labrador, a guinea pig, and a bunny. Wow. I mean, this weird. The twins talked about the twins. That was in the same story. If you missed anything, you can go back look, look on Facebook Live. Yep. YouTube you know I mean? and Facebook Live. We'll upload them right after the show. Yeah, totally. So, so you can listen to the stories if you want to. But then we started getting a little bit serious. We started getting a little serious. And I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here. No offense if your name's Debbie. Pouty, Patty. Well, Debbie's are downers. No, not all of them. Uh, pretty much. And so, um, but I do want to say this, is that we have to be very, very careful. We have to be very careful not to be judgmental to each other. Because everyone's coming through something. Everyone's coming from something. Okay, there's a lot of dysfunction that happens in our lives. There's dysfunction that happens in your life, Dex. There's dysfunction in my life, in our families, and with our friends. You think it's because I grew up in a junkyard? You know what? No. I think that, yes, I do. (laughs) I think that... Wow. I think that environmentally, it does play a part. Okay? I spent a lot of time in the junkyard. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. You could have been homeless. Because that's basically homeless, okay? A junkyard. Living in a junkyard? Yeah. Wow. That's homeless. I didn't say I lived in the junkyard. I said I spent a lot of time in the junkyard. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you know what? Even if I I'm was homeless, to that was sick. very, no, very helpful, judgmental of you. Is what you're trying to say. No. Because what I'm trying to tell you is that we all have these we, we all have these these environmental things that play a part in our lives. And then we become judgmental of either ourselves, of other people that surround us. And you know, some people have sent in some stories that are actually kind of, you know, kind of serious. We all have these these issues where um um where we've got family drama, right? And and sometimes we have some family drama and and we have to deal with it. And we have to figure out what that's going to look like. Some of you guys are are battling custody. Some of you guys are um just battling wars within your home, within your hearts, uh within your marriages, with your kids. All these things that are going on, and it's like everyone's. Some people act like it's not even happening. But the world that we live in, truly, we live in a dysfunctional world. I just really want to know. Yeah. Well, will somebody please chime in and and tell me um, if they run up the stairs like a gorilla? Okay, let me see this caller. We got a caller. Caller, hello. Hello, Tam and Dex. Hi. Hi. Uh, it's Danny the nanny. Danny the nanny. Danny. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys. How's it going? Um. So I wanted to call. I just been listening for like the past twenty minutes when I got off work. It's mm. unusual for me to work this late, but I'm glad at least I can listen in for the rest of your show. Absolutely, Beautiful. we're pumped that you're listening. Yes. Um, first of all, I don't run up the stairs like a gorilla, mm-hmm. but <laughs> mm-hmm. I do like to crawl up the stairs. But oh, then awesome. my dog ends up running over me because she's. Pretty big. Why do you crawl up yeah. the stairs? Is that because you would like to run like a certain type of animal? It's closer. Or <laughs> insect? Like a spider? Closer to the stairs. I don't know. It just it's different crawling up the stairs. So I just like I like to play with my dog and so huh. she hmm. runs up the stairs really quick hmm. and so then I just crawl and antagonize hmm. her and mm-hmm. she ends up running over me. <laughs> well, I don't think that's strange. I think it's yeah, normal. I don't think it's totally normal. Running up girl. the stairs like a gorilla. <laughs> and you're I mean, the that's sweetest. That's just weird. <laughs> See, this is a great story. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, we yeah. appreciate like it. Um, also, Tell us, I want to just mention or talk in about the dysfunctional family. Yeah, girl. So I come from a pretty dysfunctional family as well. Hmm. Um, we are a family of eight. Yeah. Of eight, uh, seven siblings. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a mixture of adoption and step siblings and one biological brother. <laughs> so wow. it's kind of a mixture of everything, and um, so it's it's kind of messy. Totally. But I've been so blessed with a wonderful husband and in laws. Um, so I grew up on the Navajo Reservation, south of Gallup, New Mexico. Yeah. And I went to college in Wisconsin because I just kind of wanted to get away from everything unfamiliar and live somewhere else that is new to me. Mm -hmm. And I ended up going to Bible college and meeting my now husband, Jason, and he actually grew up in Germany um, because his parents are missionaries there. Wow. And so when we get together with his family, it is just so different. Like with my family, I have to keep, you know, my phone ready to call the cops because I don't know 
a, a fight's going to break out or wow. what. And so it's just, it's crazy. I hate holidays on. with my family. <laughs> so what do you think that you do to sort of um, kind of help you cope with that? Like, what would you say is like a healthy coping mechanism that you use? Um, healthy cope. I don't know. It's, see, I want, I want my family to get together and have fun and laughter and harmony, sure. but that's, n- it never is the case. So I, unfortunately I've had to lay the rules down with my siblings yeah. and, um, and that's a hard thing to do because you're it, close to them. Yeah. You know what I exactly. mean? Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty hard. Um, but I mean, I think I just, I, I am on guard the whole time during holidays yeah. and I have anxiety and yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people, Um, there's, Danny, there's a lot of people that feel the same way that you do. And there's a lot of people mm -hmm. listening, thinking to themselves, I wish there would be peace at, at Thanksgiving. I wish there would be peace. Mm -hmm. I wish I could even just have a Christmas, things like that. And I think you're talking to a lot of people. And so there's something that we have to keep in mind too, is that knowing that we have the ability to pray to a God who is bigger and, and, Mm -hmm. and so, so much more uh, capable than we give him credit sometimes of being and that we have to trust that he's going to step in. And so that's going to be my prayer for you and your family and everyone who's mm-hmm. listening right now is that God would truly step in for you. And, and I encourage you to take that to take that step and say, OK, I'm going to do what I can do, because it sounds like you've mentioned things. You've you've oh, voiced your yeah. opinion. You've done what you you can to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. And there's a level of respect yeah. that you have to have with your family as well. And mm-hmm. so sometimes you just can't go yeah. in there bombarding and laying down the law. Sometimes you, you've got to let things ride. And so it sounds like that's kind of what you're doing. And, yeah. I, and I commend you for that, girl. And I think you should keep oh, it yeah. up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Lots of trial and error. That's, that's right. For sure. That's um, right. And I think we finally come to a point of understanding. Um, sure. But with my husband's family, I, I want to say it's such a blessing because when we go to his family for holidays or reunion, mm-hmm. it's so different. Everyone is, you know, gathers around and we sing a hymn together and it's devotion time in the evening. Yeah. And we talk with one another and like, how has God been working in your life recently? And how, what are you doing for the Lord right now in your life? I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is different. Well, and, and what a blessing that just, God sent I, you a little, a blessing. <laughs> God sent you a little bit of healthy to look mm. at too, you know? So, yeah. and don't be discouraged. Yeah. Don't be discouraged. Cause it's one person at a time who, I mean, that's how we all are. We all go through stuff and, and one person at a time, we begin to change little by little and only God can do the work. Mm-hmm. In all honesty, only God does the work. So if we try going around trying to fix everybody, you know, sometimes that can be exhausting. It's a, it's a, it's a tough thing. Oh, yeah. So so keep up the good work, Very girl. Exhausting. And thank you for okay. calling. Yeah. I appreciate you calling. You're awesome. Yeah. You are awesome. Thank Call you again. Thank you great work, Tam. You're Thanks. doing great. Bye, Tam. <laughs> oh, bye, Nanny. Okay. Oh, nanny, nanny. <laughs> okay. bye. Thanks. Bye. bye. It's Tamra. It's Tamra. Can I just say... I, I just want to say the okay, way that you connected to Danny the nanny. Yeah. The way that you connected to the caller was beautiful. Okay. You did a great job. You think I let her talk too much? I feel like uh, no. I think you did a great job. I honestly feel like hmm. I should go. What? Because you are gonna be fine. You can't. You're. In fact, l- you're already sound better than Steve. We I. are ten minutes out of ending this show, and you want to leave me? I'm out, guys. You want to leave me? You're you're doing you great. You commit this whole time, and you, you know want to go. I'll stay. I'll oh stay. I'll my stay. Gosh. It was a, it was a test to see how you'd react. Ooh, you failed. My heart rate is rising, and that is not the red. You're bull. doing a great job. You know what? Thanks. I, I really this is like going to be a really good show. I really like what Danny had to say because she's being honest and she is being vulnerable. She's going through something. It's a tough thing, you guys. And you guys know this, to go to a to family function and you've got that brother or that sister or that uncle or that cousin. This just full of it and and or maybe you maybe you've been looking at them the wrong way like you got to look at this from both sides you can only do what you can do okay and so because this station is a a god-fearing believing station we're allowed to to express how god plays a part in this and i am guilty of it of not trusting in god completely knowing that god is who he says he is and that he can do what he says he can do and I, I feel like there's so many other people out there who are in the same boat. But mm. does that give us an excuse? No, it doesn't. Right. No, it doesn't. And I don't like it either. I don't like it sometimes. I'm uncomfortable sometimes saying mm-hmm. that I have to trust in God. But I, but I get to. 
Right. And that's sometimes what I have to figure out is that I have I get to do this. I, I get to go through certain experiences so that I can become stronger as a person, not just as a cliche, not as a church answer. I really why are we even here? I didn't create myself. I can't move the stars. I can't run the sun at whatever temperature and speed that I want it. I can't do that. God can stop time because he's outside of time. And sometimes our perspective has to change because when our perspective changes about the God that we serve, then we know that that when we're going through certain things and we're moving through certain things, that he's in control of it. You're literally putting inspirational music behind me, Dex. Is it because you keep like going. what I'm saying? Just you like going. what's going on here? Keep going. Okay. I want to share this with you guys because I see it's a little loud, Dexy. It's, it's a little loud. Stay focused. Dan. I'm going to stay focused. I, I share this with you guys because... It hurts me sometimes to see the pain in people's eyes when they have a hard time dealing with the dysfunction that they have to walk in every single day. Yes. It hurts me. And and it's okay to not be okay sometimes because you're resting. And we have a song that we wrote. Battle Drums even wrote a song called Never Sleeps. And it, and we say that I'm resting in the one who never sleeps. Yes. And and it's a beautiful thing to know because God says that he, ne- he neither sleeps nor slumbers. That's the God that we serve. And so there's been times I'm guilty of it that I just have have had a lack of trust in who I serve. And I think that today we need to change our perspective. We've been joking about dysfunction. We've been kidding about weird things that we do. And there are some funny things in life. But if we're being honest, if we weren't laughing, we would be crying. Amen. You know what I mean? And so today, whatever it is that you're going through, whatever kind of dysfunction that your family has, I encourage you to do something that maybe you and I need to do more of and that is pour into the word of God. Maybe you guys have, have been scarred. There's people we're talking to who are who are new believers who are not even, they don't, they're like, I don't believe in God. I don't, I just think that Dex is funny and that's why I'm listening to this show. There's, there may be plenty of you who are doing that right now. But in all honesty, if we're not gonna cope the right way, cope in a healthy way, because everything is spiritual, I firmly believe that everything is spiritual. And the Bible says that we wrestle between, not between our flesh and blood, but against the spirit world. That's what we're fighting against. So our flesh is feeling that attack. It's feeling the battle. It's feeling the push and the pull and the fight for our souls in which we are serving God. And so that's why it hurts so much because it's it's all about it's all about that. So when you look at the person that you think you hate, and when you look at the person that you can't stand, or you look at the person that you've been having a really hard time with, you remember that they're fighting too. That we're all fighting. We're all going through something, right? I mean, I could be totally off. Am I? Am I? What? What do you think? That was amazing. I mean, so, no. Uh, on the live line, uh, this person said, "Preach it, pasta, Tam." <laughs> okay. I don't know why they're calling you pasta, <laughs> but I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, may, I felt the same way. You're, yeah. <laughs> you, you were speaking right. Did what I needed to hear. Maybe it's maybe they're calling me pasta because like I'm not a pastor. Oh. You know what I mean? Pastor. Not. I'm not a pastor, but I'm a pasta. Okay. You know, like a female version of that. And by the something. way, thank you for all the people that chimed in and said they run up the stairs like a gorilla. I feel better now. Thank I, you. I actually heard a, quite a quite a bit feedback yeah. of yeah. that. Tell you the truth. Thank you. Um, man, I may sound like I'm just I'm harping on something here, but and I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take the show out with this. Okay. Talk to me. I'm taking it out. Are we out of here? Yeah, we're gonna be out of here pretty soon after I say after I say my piece. I love that we can sit and we can talk and we can joke because that's helpful. I also think that sometimes we take it a little too seriously, the things that we go through when in all reality, God has given us the ability to think, to to, to think with a a clear mind. And, and, and there are some things that are are a lot uh, simpler. Is it more simple, simpler than others? Things can be simple. And sometimes we complicate things because we are naturally drawn to drama or we're naturally drawn to pain because it's what we're used to. And so sometimes, and we, we all, we're all in this boat. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not throwing anybody under the bus or whatever it might be. But what I am saying is that, is that there's a reason why we get to have a radio show and talk about this stuff. There's a reason why you've gone through the pain that you've gone through. And I'm not saying that it's okay, the things that you've been through. And I'm sorry for what you've been through. Whatever it is that wounded you, that hurt you, that scarred you, that took you down the wrong road, that got you hooked into this or hooked into that, I'm sorry for that. But you know what? We all have to... And I say this with such love. I say this with such love and care for you and for me and for, for everyone listening right now. 
we all are held accountable and we all have to grow up. And I say that with such love to you because I know that when I say those things, it hurts you because it makes me uncomfortable too. I've got to grow up just like you do. I've got to make better decisions just like you do. And remember that God is the one who does the work. And don't forget that just because somebody treated you poorly and they used that poor behavior in the name of God, that doesn't mean that that's who Jesus is. That doesn't mean that that's who God really is. You remember what the Bible says when it talks about in James, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, he'll flee from you. To be self-controlled, to be alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him standing firm in the faith. And there's a reason why God's telling us to do that. There's a reason why, because we have to resist it because otherwise it overtakes us. We allow it to overtake us. And, and, and we don't fight, again, between our flesh and blood. This is a spirit world that we're, battle, that we're battling right now. The Bible says in Isaiah, it says, no weapon that is formed against you will prosper and every tongue that accuses you in judgment, you will condemn. And this is, the, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication is from me, declares the Lord. So he's saying, you, can, you know that God is in control. He's, gonna be, he's ultimately gonna, gonna judge those who are coming after you. And he's also, he's also in charge. Ultimately, there's no weapon that can, that can come at us because he's in charge. He's in charge of it. In Romans and all these things, we're more than conquerors through him who loved us. Remembering these verses is huge for us because if we can remember this stuff, then we're gonna be able to respond a little bit better each time knowing and believing that God loves you, that he cares about you. And, and the people who ruined that for you, you know what, it's a new day. It's a new day, step up, it's a new day. And, and you're not strong in your own power, you're strong in the power of his might. And God tells us not by, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. So it's by his spirit, we're strong in the power of his might, by, by his spirit is what we do. And God is faithful and he's gonna strengthen you and he's gonna protect you. And you're gonna know the truth. And when you do know the truth, it's gonna set you free, you and me. And so today, I hope you're encouraged. I hope that you were able to laugh. I well, hope you're able to have you, an awesome time. Do you are, you've encouraged so many. Rebecca on Facebook says, love what you're speaking. Glad you're on in the afternoons. Danny said, love the truth hmm. that you are speaking. Uh, can't even tell you how many tears I've shed for my family. Uh, Cynthia said, you have no idea. Thank you for these words. So many people chiming in. Good. Good job, Tam. Good, because I know we're going through it. So let your hearts be lifted. Don't don't let that depression, that oppression take you over. Let your hearts be lifted. Mm. Because there's a reason why God made you. And he didn't make a mistake. And he loves you and he cares for you. And there's a reason why God made your family and why God is connecting all these, all these things together. Because he loves all of you. He loves all of us. Even if I don't like that person. Even if you don't like that person. God loves us, and, and, and we're here together. We're in this together. We're in this fight together. Run the race together. And let God do the fixing. Let God do the molding. And let us do the forgiving. Say, God, I'm forgiving this person. I'm trusting you because I know that you have my best interest at heart. Tam, throw on the gun. Guys, like I love you guys. Drop the mic. I'm, we're, drop the mic. I'm going to drop the I'm going to, I don't know. Drop the means. mic. I love you guys. We've had a blast. This has been just Thanks for having me. Fun. It's been fun. No, thank I'm glad I got to be on your very first show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. No, thank you. Just you're just awesome. No, you're awesome. Um, we're heading out of here. I hope this quality tam has been quality for you. It's been quality, guys. I can't Man. wait for tomorrow. <laughs> you guys are can't just... wait. It's gonna be great. Three to six, guys. Yeah, I have a special guest tomorrow. Uh, please help me welcome Pastor Skip Heitzig. Wait, what? Who will be on my show tomorrow? Wait, hold I'm on. I'm pumped. I know we're running out of time, Dex. Seriously, I, I can't go into detail. You get with Pastor you, Skip Heitzig, but I'm getting Skip Heitzig. You realize he, he's only been he, on our show like twice. Well, he did ask to be on my show. He asked to he be did, on your show, and so I said okay. yes. And well, so I'm gonna be asking him some pretty cool questions tomorrow. I'm gonna be talking about mediums, psychics. Wow. Uh, um, you know that Love kind of it. fun stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll we'll talk about that tomorrow. Bye, Starmy. I can't wait to see you. See you in the morning, 6 to 10 a.m., Monday through Friday, yep, morning invasion. In the morning, morning invasion. Uh, call me, and uh, thanks for the memories. Thanks Boy. for listening to Star 88. Love you guys. Miss you already. Bless you. For over 40 years, La Salita Restaurant has been serving New Mexican food to Albuquerque. From starters like soups, salads, and Cindy nachos to entrees like chili rellenos, burrito de Eduardo, the BOG burrito, and carne adovada. La Salita is friendly to those who are vegan or gluten-free and offers cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh... 
We'll we'll talk about that tomorrow. Bye, Stormy. I can't wait to see you. See you in the morning, six to ten a.m. In Monday the, through Friday, yep, morning invasion. In the morning, morning invasion. Uh, call me and uh, thanks for the memories. Thanks Bye. for listening to Star Eighty Eight. Love you guys. Miss you already. For over 40 years, La Salita Restaurant has been serving New Mexican food to Albuquerque. From starters like soups, salads, and Cindy nachos to 